Hey, it's Lightning Tony here for the Sim Sim channel. Welcome to a uh, quick um, video. Um, recently, my uh, computer broke. Yes, my laptop, which I use to make most of my videos, uh, broke. A uh, family member was using it. It fell over, um, landed on the screen, and well, as you can see on the image uh, in front of you, that um, a quarter of the screen broke. So, what does that mean about uh, for the Sim Sim channel and videos? Well. Initially, I was thinking of just getting it repaired, and thankfully, I had the warranty for it, so it, it has been sent out to be repaired. However, what the incident allowed me for the uh, allowed for me to do uh, is to consider perhaps getting another computer, because this computer was good, but it lacked a few things that uh, I had been wanting. And the purpose of this video is to kind of show you, because uh, I have decided that I'm going to get a new laptop. And I decided that um, I would uh, go through what the laptop that I'm getting, the new one, uh, is going to be and what my decision making process uh, for that was. And uh, so I will be getting a uh, new laptop in the uh, next uh, day or so. Um, and so hopefully um, that laptop will allow me to make um, some better videos. Obviously I've gone... Um, from uh, everywhere from a uh, HP Pavilion G series uh, to that computer uh, which is an Asus laptop and the uh, new laptop uh, that I will be using is is going to be a Samsung uh, laptop, which was uh, which I found uh, for a great uh, deal on uh, Best Buy, uh, at Best Buy. So um, that's going to be the new computer. Now it's not going to be a high tech gaming computer. However, it does have a better i5 uh, core processor, um, which is going to allow me to get up to uh, 3.2 gigahertz, uh, which is the processing speed. It's got a hard drive size of uh, 750 gigabytes. And it's got uh, six gigabytes of RAM, which is expandable up to eight gigabytes. And it's also got an Intel HD Graphics 4000 graphics card. So hopefully with this laptop, it will allow me to. Um, I definitely know for SimCity and Civilization 5, it's going to allow me to make very good quality videos for that. Um, War Thunder games like War Thunder, um, that's always going to be a little. Um, Kind of iffy. Um, I don't think you're ever going to see videos from me that are going to be HD or movie settings uh, for those particular games. It's just that those games are just very much uh, high capacity, high graphics games that really need the high end market graphics cards, the high end, you know, $2,000 computers, and so forth. So. Games like that, I'm probably not going to be um, having uh, HD for. Um, it's just not in my budget, and that's not what I was looking for. Because uh, what this video is kind of about is a blog about, you know, what would the criteria that I picked for having a computer. And the main criteria was one, it needed to have a CD slash DVD ROM drive. Um, the Asus computer did not have that, which I didn't really, very much like because there was a lot of software I couldn't install on it. Um, games and also uh, Word and other things like that, and I didn't want to have to go, uh, you know, have to buy it all over again. Uh, another thing um, was that, of course, I couldn't store things on uh, DVD drives or CDs, um, yeah, like uh, photos, video, or other things that uh, forced me to have to transfer it uh, using um, the uh, thumb drives. So, uh, which wasn't. Uh, too much fun and everything that computer was lacking it was lacking a uh, multi-core processor it only had a single processor um, I didn't really understand processors much when I had gotten it so I'm finally starting to get better at understanding computers and how they work um, and so I was going back and forth between an i7 and an i5 and one of the big reasons why I decided to go with the i5 instead of the i7 and go with this one is not only did this one have the uh, uh, hard drive uh, amount and the uh, CD slash DVD ROM drive it also that I wanted but uh, it also had the graphics card seemed to do what I needed this laptop is probably going to do everything I want it to do and perhaps a little bit better um, you know when I looked at YouTube and compared the i5 to the i7 and different computers you know I was noticing that really there wasn't really much of a difference unless I was going to get a custom computer, um, you know, that had a higher graphics card and, and higher, um, you know, capacity and so forth. So, um, and that's not really for me. I'm not at that stage yet where I need that sort of thing. 
again, um, the Civ Sim channel is more of a hobby type thing. It's, you know, a fun side project. It's not, you know, meant to be bringing home the bacon like it is for some gaming channels. So I'm going to continue, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm going to continue along with uh, this one. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And so hopefully in the next uh, day or so, I'll be able to start making some uh, new videos and... Um, Hopefully, have higher quality videos if I can get over this cold. Not sure if you can tell from my voice, but I do have a slight cold. Uh, only in Florida do you get colds in the spring. So, but um, um, yeah, that should do it about this update, and uh, I will keep you posted. Until next time, everyone. This is Tony for the Sim Sim Channel. Wishing you all a great day. I'll catch you guys next time.